and welcome to Ham's Pokemon. And today I'm excited because I just went to Target and found this GX Team Up Elite Trainer Box. Super excited to get this cracked open. As you can see, the contents in this are eight packs, energy cards, We've got the sleeves, the dividers, the dice, and the play counters there, along with the book. The book, we'll have a little look in the book, just to have a look at some of the cards in this. So I always buy an Elite Trainer, at least one Elite Trainer box from every collection that I that comes out. So I'm always really excited to grab one of these. And the fact that this was out two days early at Target is fantastic. So I'll go ahead and quickly show you the inside of the sleeve. Did, here we go. I don't want to rip it necessarily, but here we go. There they are, some of the partnerships. So we've got Snorlax and Eevee, Celebi and Venusaur, Mimikyu and Gengar, and it looks like Zekrom and Pikachu. So some nice artworks there. There are of course the artworks that you'll see on the packs that are inside this. Here is the box itself. Let's go ahead and get that open up. The artwork on it is fantastic. The colors are brilliant, Zekrom and Pikachu. Really cool. Let's get these piece of cardboard, the new sort of cardboard scheme that they have. Here are the packs, let's see if they're all here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent, all eight packs are there. The dice, the dice look really cool. Actually, they're like a marbly yellow and black. That is really nice. They're probably the nicest ones I've ever seen. Excellent looking tag team GX marker. The sleeves, very nice indeed. I do keep a pack of sealed sleeves for every set. There is the new energy scheme. I don't know if you've seen this, that the energy is sort of like a sort of like a steel door. Um, looking really cool. It's nice to just break that up. I don't know why they don't do that for every set, because it would be really nice to just break it up. Here are the <clears throat> dividers. A little glossy, very nice. And here's the code. Go ahead and enjoy that. That will get you everything that you just saw in there except for the packs, but it will get you the sleeves, the um, dice etc the GX counter for the online game so enjoy that so I'm going to go ahead and put these things back in there close the box the box looks great like super pumped for the box um, let's go look at some of the cards in the set so um, as you can see we saw the Celebi Celebi Venusaur um, team up already there is a there's a shaman prism no, the Tapu Koko Prism, there it is. Tapu Koko Prism is huge in the set. There's that Pikachu Zekrom. Uh, Mr. Mime GX, I guess, is pretty playable from what I've heard. Lycanroc, Incineroar, Hooper. I've seen a lot of these from people's openings. Cabalion, pretty cool Cabalion look card there. Um, really like an Eevee Snorlax, love Snorlax, so that'd be awesome. I guess this Latias, Latias card is full art or is worth like a bunch. Um, Black Market Prism, there. Here are the full arts. This full art looks ridiculous. Oh my goodness, Magikarp and Whale Lord full art looks amazing. Um, love to get that. That's I think that's like a yeah. It's it's weird because there's two of them, but in this, but that looks really really cool. Um, yeah, this I guess this Latios Latias is just worth like a ton of money. Really cool looking Brock's grit. Uh, let's see, Cavalion looks really cool. Really like the look of all the Gengar Mimikyu cards in this set they all look amazing um, Morgan I guess is worth a lot of money at the moment in this set and would obviously take any secret rare or any rainbow rare that the, the set would ever decide to give me so really cool really excited I'll, I, will, I won't bore you with the rest of the stuff in this I will be reading through this myself love to look at what's playable what's not what their expectations are for the set etc so let's get diving into the packs. Oh, just before I dive into the packs, my wife and my daughter actually opened up a pack each from the new set. And my daughter got a green cargo, but got this really cool Mimikyu reverse. Then my wife really stepped up to the plate, got a white card code with a Ferrothorn reverse rare and this amazing Ampharos GX. So um, two packs in, I got a, a GX. So really, really happy about that, actually. Um, that will... That was a great start for me, but let's, let's, I'm kind of hoping that there's something in this elite trainer box. At least one, you know, at least one good hit would be would be nice. I'm not too greedy at the beginning of sets because I don't have any of the cards. So really excited just to dive into this and hopefully get 
least maybe one hit. So I'm gonna go with, uh, it's really hard because I actually like all of these Pokemon. But I'd actually say like probably my least favorite combo is probably Zekron Pikachu. Not that I have like anything against Pikachu or anything, but he, he, I would, you know, it's just not my favorite. Um, it's not my, he's not my favorite Pokemon. And um, like Zekrom, I don't really care particularly for Zekrom. So one thing to note actually with these, with these codes is today is Wednesday, the 30th of January. These codes will not be, like you can take the code, but I don't know if like you won't be able to actually access the cards until uh until friday friday is the official release date so friday bear that in mind here is another view of the new energies looking pretty cool there i do like that it is nice that they changed them up a little bit there's a judge whistle judge whistle says draw a card put a judge card from the discard pile into your hand that's you got to choose one of those it looks like a reprint at Kurt Cosman. So some <clears throat> cool artworks. Oh, very cool looking match card artwork. Sorry if I slow this a little bit, but this is the first time I'm seeing any of these cards in person. And he has the the, the, the um, move enter the dragon. That is hilarious. So, oh, look at that. It sort of looks like he's in a really odd looking place. A Weedle is the reverse. So nothing spectacular in the reverse slot. And a Muck. Now I know that this Muck was used a lot in pre-release. Saw a lot of people's pre-releases playing this muck um poison sacks the special condition poisoned is not removed when your opponent's pokemon evolve will de-evolve so that's kind of cool um toxic secretion your opponent's active pokemon is now poisoned but put two damage characters instead of one so that's pretty cool like if you could get that down fairly early that could start to cause some some problems for um could yeah it could start to cause some problems for the um uh, for your opponent so that's pretty cool Trying to put some sort of like sort this out sort somewhat. So yeah, I, I'm really excited for this set. Um, here is the first white code from the Elite Trainer Box. Hope it's not my last one. Um, like I said, really excited to check some of these cards out. I think a lot of people have been anticipating this set. Knee buff padding if the pokemon this card attached to has a retreat cost of exactly four it gets 50 extra hit points so that's kind of cool i mean that seems like and there's not that many pokemon i doubt that you too many people use with that sort of crazy oh wow i didn't even know dragonite was in this set wow amazing didn't even know dragonite was in this set that is terrible on my part because Dragonite is my favorite Pokemon. Once during your turn you may search your deck for a support card, reveal it and put it into your hand then shuffle your deck. How oh, cool. That's really cool. I feel like that's pretty darn playable. Awesome. Wow. Didn't even know they existed in this set. And oh yes! A Gengar Mimikyu Team Tag Team GX. Thank you. Excellent. My first Tag Team GX. I obviously have the Amphro so it's just a regular GX. My first Tag Team GX from this set, absolutely fantastic with Poltergeist. Your opponent reveals their hand. This attack does 15 more damage to each trainer card you find there. Pretty cool. Wow, that's really good. I feel like that would be very dangerous. And Horror, G Horror House GX. Your opponent can't play any cards from their hand during their next turn. If this Pokemon has at least one Psychic Energy attached to it, each player draws cards until they have seven in their hand. Weird. Oh, in addition to this attack, it says, that's pretty cool. Anywho, so amazing, really cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy about that. Like, um, these boxes can sometimes pull absolutely nothing. I've had it before where I've had eight green card codes. So really happy to have at least got one white card and one tag team GX and along with a Dragonite reverse rare so what a great pack that was i mean i really couldn't have asked for a lot more out of that that was brilliant and that's after just two packs um uh, next least favorite probably venusaur celebi although i do i love seeing venusaur so this is like from here on out it's like all three of these combos for me are, are all great um i like all three of these combos I like all of these teams i should say these tag teams they're all really cool Oh, and there's the Morgan. So this Morgan, I guess, is pretty playable. You can play this card only if you discard, if you discard Dana, Evelyn, and Nita from your hand. Wow. Okay, maybe it's not. 
that playable. Look at your top 12 cards of your deck and attach any number of energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Good lord. I mean, that... You can play this card only if you discard... It. But, I mean, you've got a di the discard element of that is pretty crazy, but... I Yay, Jinx. But um, if you can do it, like, you might end up picking up, like, four or five energy cards and it'd be some serious energy movement there. Wow, really cool looking Squirtle Reverse. If you have a Stadium card and play this Pokemon, there's no retreat cost. That's cool. Very cool artwork. Look at the artwork on that. That is so nice. And a Ferrothorn. I've seen Ferrothorn already. Um, my, Like I said, my Torta opened a pack and got Ferrothorn in reverse. So already got Ferrothorn twice. But with one being a reverse, um, that's pretty cool that the um to get it in regular so regular rare nice okay hey water type energy there so like i said happy that they've decided to change the energies around a little bit you need to you can play this card only if your opponent's active pokemon is a basic pokemon put an energy from your opponent's active pokemon onto the top of the deck that's cool i like that that sort of you know changes it around you know change the game up a little bit it can sort of knock them back there's dratini to go with the Dragonite that I have. A Alolan Executor Reverse, so very nice. A Reverse Rare. Paradise Draw, an Egg Splat. And a Lapras. Awesome. Hydro Pump, this is 30 damage, the amount of... Cool, okay. I like, um, I like Lapras, actually, a lot too. Basically any first, first gen Pokemon for me are really cool. So, I mean, I like all of them. Uh, so I'm going to go with Snorlax last. <clears throat> and I'm going to go with Gengar just ahead of it. Maybe I should have saved Gengar to the end because of pulling pulling the Gengar tag team. I don't know. We'll see. But there, there are some really cool artworks actually in this set that I've... I have seen a few people opening it online. Sabrina's suggestion, your opponent... Reveals their hand, you may choose a supporter card you find there and use the effect of that card. I feel like that's a little odd. I did see some people opening, uh, some online talking about that, and I don't... I mean, you've got to hope that they've got some pretty cool cards. Very cool looking Zera Aura. A reverse rare, fantastic. And a Tyranitar holographic, so pretty cool. Tyranitar always, sort of always seems like one of those Pokemon where it's like the, the attacks are so bulky. Like there's a lot of energy required to... Um, I'm going to put the the reverse hollow rares here. For now. It always seems quite bulky in its attacks, but um, cool looking. Always a cool looking card. I feel like we've seen Tyranitar quite a lot in the Sun and Moon era. I mean, I might be wrong. I know it was in quite a few sets. Um, it's been in quite a few sets. I think I might be wrong. Fates Collide, Ancient Origins, one of them it, as well in, in the XY era. So I feel like it's a card I see a lot. I, I don't, oh, Voltorb, awesome. Love Voltorbs. Another Squirtle, so there are two Squirtle Arts in this set, very cool. A Mankey Reverse and a Zeb Striker. So again, another one of the cards that I saw in the pre-release that a lot of people were playing. Raid, if this Pokemon evolved from Blitzel during this turn, this does not damage. So I mean, like, if you've got this early on in your in your pre-release, like, if you've pulled that early, then you might you might have a good chance of winning because you can just do a whopping one, 120 for two, two energies, and that seems pretty good. So on to the last two packs. So... Fairly, fairly pleased so far. Um, one tag team, one hollow from six. Uh, that's literally, it's literally the average. Um, and like I said, with the with the cards that I got previous to this from those two packs that were opened up, I'm super happy because I've already got that GX Ampharos return label. Put a card from your opponent's discard bar on the bottom of their deck. Hmm. Not sure what I think about that. I don't really know if that's all that playable. 
The reverse is a Joltic, very cool looking claymation y Joltic, very nice. And a Neveltal Hollow, so another Hollow. Derail and Clutch. Awesome artwork. I don't know if that's really coming through to you guys. Great colours and really cool artwork. So two Hollows and a Tag Team GX. Pretty good. For, for, I mean, for a, for a an Elite Trainer box, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I want two GXs. But that would be way above average um, in terms of in terms of pulls, as um, like they're one in six for it for a GX. So um, to get anything more than one, if you got two, is above odds and really good. So I'm super happy so far to have seen two hollows and a, a tag team GX. Search your deck for a. Steel type Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. If you go second, and it, sorry, if you go second, it's your first turn. Search your set for five steel Pokemon instead of one. Wow, that seems pretty good. I mean, a few conditions on it, but oh, this Charmander, by the way, looks very derpish. Just a little comment there. Looks very obscure to me. Okay, so a Clef Clee, and the final card in this opening is a... Oh my goodness! It is the full art version of Latios Latias GX. I don't believe it. The card that I was... I'm pretty sure that... I'm not sure... Like, I'm pretty sure that this is worth a lot of money. I couldn't be, tell you exactly how much, but I know it's worth a lot of money as it currently stands. What an epic card, and with the heart in the middle and coming up to Valentine's Day, who wouldn't want this card? Absolutely amazing. What a way to finish the opening. I'm actually, I'm like stunned. I'm stunned by that. It is the full art version. It's kind of weird because it doesn't feel too um, full artish, but it really is a full art. Beautiful. What a way to finish the opening. So I'm gonna stick that right in the back there. Wow. So thanks a lot, guys, for popping on by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, share if you um, enjoyed it. Um, I'm really looking forward to this new set. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you thought of this opening in the comment section down below. And until next time, goodbye.